2017. I knew this year would bring some pretty big changes. Nick and I left London after two and a bit years to move back to Wellington, which meant we had to say goodbye to our friends, leave our flat, leave our job, and essentially start all over again when we got back home. Before we left London though, we packed a lot into two and a half months and we were determined to make the most of it. We took a day trip to Paris. I went on a Barcelona adventure with my friend Matt, courtesy of Mazda. I made one last visit to Oxford and I took Charlie to Brighton for her birthday. I squeezed in two musicals, School of Rock and Book of Mormon, and Nick and I went on one last European adventure to Rome, Florence, Venice, Milan, Monte Carlo, and Nice. Saying goodbye to our London life was really, really hard, and as much as I prepared for it, it really sucked leaving behind all of our friends and the place we'd called home for the last two and a half years. Hopping on that plane to leave London was really weird and I was so, so sad to be leaving but on the flip side I was really excited to, in a couple days, be returning to New Zealand and to catch up with my family and to start a new life again. I think the fact that Nick and I were about to take a slightly out of the way detour to spend a few days and my birthday in New York definitely helped soften the blow of leaving as sad as it was. I've wanted to visit New York ever since 16 year old me watched the very first episode of Gossip Girl and it was just as wonderful and just as incredible as I'd imagined. Even though the temperature didn't get above zero for the majority of the time we were there, it did mean that we got to witness a snowstorm from 40 floors up. On my 25th birthday, one of the most unexpected life changes happened. While we were in Central Park, surrounded by snow, Nick got down on one knee and proposed and I ugly cried a lot. Finally getting back to New Zealand felt like a whirlwind of excitement. Not only had I landed an awesome new job I couldn't wait to start, it didn't take long before mine and Nick's flat hunt turned into a house hunt. Four months after returning home we were moving into our very own house with Nick's cat Subi. Straight away we got stuck into the house renovations with a few trips to Auckland and Masterton for work in between. In November I flew to Canberra to be reunited with my best friend Hannah after two and a half years and it was so lovely to see her and to catch up and to see her new house and to visit Canberra which is where she's from and I had a really amazing time and I cannot wait to go back. A few weeks later I also got to tick ride in a helicopter off my bucket list thanks to a really awesome work opportunity. I started learning to drive, I started eating healthy and exercising more and have already seen some really awesome results. I bought a wedding dress, I read 24 books, I went on 13 road trips, 13 flights, 2 Eurostars, 4 Italian trains and travelled over 46,587 kilometres, made a ton of new friends and listened to the Hamilton soundtrack about 200 times. All in all, 2017 was a massive year of change and I'm really glad that I got to share a lot of those changes with you guys through my blogs. While I have you here, I also just wanted to say a massive thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch my videos. If this is the very first video of mine that you're ever watching or if you've been around here for a while, I really do appreciate every single one of you, as I said, taking the time out of your day to watch my face in a video, to leave me a comment and to just support me on this journey. Um, I'm gonna end it on a really cheesy note because I feel like I always end these videos on a cheesy note. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you have had a really great 2017 as well. And let's have an even better 2018. I'll see you all next year.